Hey guys, thank you so much for joining in. In this particular video of WordPress series, we will understand how you can add breadcrumbs on your WordPress website to improve the navigation. So guys, breadcrumb is very powerful technique in order to improve the navigation of your website from both the point of view, that is from user point of view, as well as from browser point of view. And it provides a very strong structure to your WordPress website so that user can easily navigate and crawler can easily understand the overall hierarchy of your website. Now, how to install the breadcrumb or how to add the breadcrumb on your WordPress website, that is the agenda. So in order to do the same, you need to come onto your WordPress website. Now log into your WordPress dashboard and here you can install any of the SEO plugin that you are using, maybe Yoast, All-in-One SEO, uh, WP, you know, Rank Math, any plugin that you want. So here we will talk about the Yoast SEO. So we just click on add new plugin. And once you click on add new plugin here, just type for Yoast. Once you search for Yoast SEO, then you will simply need to install this plugin. And once the installation is done, simply activate this plugin. I have already activated it. Once you installed and activated the SEO plugin, Yoast SEO option on the left hand side. And in this option, you will see settings. So just click on settings. And once you click on settings, just scroll down and click on advanced. And in advance, you will see an option called breadcrumb. So just click on the breadcrumb. Now, here are the breadcrumb settings. So the first option is separator between breadcrumbs. So by default, it is arrow. If you want to change it, you can edit and maybe add your own thing or maybe dash or something like that. So it is based on your choice, but I'll keep it as it is not a problem. Then anchor text for the home page in every breadcrumb by default, the home will be there so that user can navigate to the home page and the structure is from home page to whatever page you are going through. Then next is prefix for breadcrumb path. There is no need of prefix. Prefix for archive breadcrumb, uh, keep it as it is, keep it as it is for 404, keep it as it is. Bold the last page. It means whatever the last URL or in the breadcrumb is there, you need to bold it. Yes, we need to bold it so that user can understand, okay, he or she is on the uh, current page. Then breadcrumb for post types. So post types is you can choose choose for category, format or tags. By default, you just keep it to none and keep all the settings as it is and make sure that this option enable breadcrumb for your theme is enabled and just click on save changes. Once the settings are done, now there are two options. You can add the breadcrumb on your entire website using the theme editor files or there is a short code also available through which you can add the breadcrumb manually to each and every post whenever, wherever you want to add. Now I will tell you the both the methods. So for that we have an article here and once we go to this article, just scroll down and you will see an option that is of implementation. So in order to implement, there are, there are two options. First is for entire website. So if you want to uh, you know, implement this breadcrumb for your entire website, maybe in the post, in the pages. So what you need to do is just copy this particular code and just paste it inside your single.php if, if you want to add it in your blogs or maybe page.php if you want to add in your pages or maybe in the header.php if you want to add in the entire website. The another method is using the short code that is this one. So this short code will remain same as it is for every type of website if you are using Yoast SEO plugin. So this short code helps us to add the breadcrumb on every page whatever, whatever we want. So we'll just understand this one. So just copy the short code, come back to the website. Now let's say I want to add this breadcrumb to a particular page. So for example, I want to add you know, about us page. So I'll just click on edit with Elementor, open in a new tab. If you are not using Elementor and the default theme editor, then also this particular shortcode will work. You just need to space the shortcode wherever you want. So for example, I want to add the breadcrumb here just below the about us. So I'll just search for shortcode and just drag and drop it like this. And here I just paste my shortcode. Once I'm pasted the shortcode, I'll just click on apply. And once I click on apply, I'll just click on the preview the page. Now you can see the breadcrumb is applied. That is home. And then last is about the color of this breadcrumb I need to change. So for that, I'll go to just settings or what I can do. I can just paste it inside text editor also. So what I can do is I can go and copy the shortcode in the text editor. So instead of this, I will just use the short editor. Click on publish, review the changes, come back to the page, refresh the page once. And now you can see the editor is there. The sh short code is there. And now if I want to change the text color, so I can change the text color to let's say white and then maybe again publish it. 
once i publish it come back again now you can see the home and about us of course you can use the custom css as well to change the color so that's how you can add the breadcrumb using short code now let me tell you the other method that is using the php code on your entire website so this is the php code let me just copy this come back to my wordpress website this time we'll go to appearance and theme file editor now as i said if you want to add it on your entire blog you will go and add on ps single dot php and if you want to add on so you can see three options are there that is header.php, page.php and single.php for multiple purposes. Let's say I want to add it on single.php. So just click on single.php. And now here you can say, you know, the by default code is there. So footer and if so what you need to do is you need to just enter it in your just after the sidebar. So I will say primary top content primary top. Yes. And content loop primary class yes i want to add it and just paste like this and update the file if you are not aware about the code don't worry just send this code to your developer and ask him to update in a single dot php file now if i go to my pages post and now if i see this one if i click on view now you can see that you know the breadcrumb is automatically added of course you can change the placement based on the you know based on your choice based on your format so guys that's how you can add breadcrumb on your wordpress website using both the method that is short code and using php code i will see in the next video till then take care bye bye have a nice